This will be a quick tutorial on learning how to set an overall password to your database. In 2003, they had user-level security, which has been stripped away in the 2007 version and onwards. But if you already had a file made in 2003, and if you open it in 2007, you'll have the user-level security. Once you convert it to the new version, you will lose it. So to set the password, just make sure you close your access file. You just need and open Microsoft Access without opening the file. And then you're going to click on the File button, and you're going to choose Open. I'm using 2010, but I'm going to talk about both versions. In 2007, you're going to click on the round Office button, and you're going to choose Open, and you're going to navigate to where the file is. So I've come to this file, click on it one time, don't double click, just one time. Click on the drop down button in the open and then choose open exclusive and then you're going to click it. And it's going to open like that. If you had that warning message here on the top, so choose the enable content and then enable the content. Now in 2007, when you go to the database tools, on the right hand side you'll see another section for database tools and in it you'll see an option called encrypt with password just up here somewhere. In 2010, you're going to click on the file and then you go to info, which I usually shows up in info. And here you'll see the option encrypt with password. So this is the only difference between 2007 and 2010. So you click it and then you choose a password. One, two, three. I'm just going to put the password right now. Make sure you remember it because if you didn't know, this could cause a problem. And then click OK. And it's got the message about something to do with row locking. You can read more about it if you wanted to. And click OK to that. Now I'm going to close this file. Close the database. And I'm going to go back to file and open it from here. In 2007, you should see it appear on the right hand side. I'll click it. Now it's asking me for the password. And for anybody who wanted to do a little bit more where you wanted to put passwords on a form or a report or something, I found a link from Microsoft where somebody's created like a program, which that's not my specialty. But I'll leave a link here so you can follow the information because you have to like copy and paste some of these things in the in in the Visual Basic kind of thing, and then you'll have a password set for those things. So if you want, you can just follow this. Uh, it's, it doesn't seem that difficult. You just have to copy and paste uh, and follow the example step by step, and you should have a password for the form um, for that particular one. So uh, if anybody needed it, try it. Uh, if it works, just leave a note letting me know if it worked or not. Uh, I'll try it at some point. And so this is a um, couple of ways you can set passwords on your uh, file and look out for the link to this article below. Thanks for watching.